Hi, good morning, and welcome to the Blueberry Squash Wedding Shop. Today I'm going to be going through this book with you, and we'll have a look at different wedding dresses, flowers, jewellery, accessories, things like that, venues for your wedding, venues for the reception. It's a Scottish Weddings book. This is one that we like to use. So it's quite thick. It's got Mother of the Bride. It's got loads of really nice things to help you decide what you're going to have on your big day. If you see anything that you like, just let me know and I'll take a note of it. Okay. Now this is a beautiful dress. It's got no back in it. Beautiful lace bodice. And then it just comes down. Lovely at the bottom. Lovely net. And she's just got a simple wreath. Bow wreath in her hair. This one's a bit chunkier. The, the flowers in the hair. And that's a beautiful cake. This one also has got a lovely back, see-through, and it comes down in beautiful netting as well. And the veil is just simply a bit of net put into the back of her hair. This one here, this is a satin gown, and she's got lovely white flowers. These are kind of turquoise shoes. They're very pretty with butterflies. And this is like a cape that you could wear over your dress. This one is an off the shoulder. This one's very pretty as well. A lovely flattering neckline. You like the look of that? What page is that? That's page seven. I'll just take a note of that. I think you quite like the look of that. Okay. Now this isn't white but I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's called Duck Egg Blue. And it's got white embroidery on the bodies. And she's got a beautiful necklace there with green stones. This is just a simple satin dress and these are funny wedding cakes. This is for the donut lover obviously, made of donuts and these are beautiful shoes. calendar house. That's a nice place for a venue. If you're thinking of something along the castle. Right. Now this is very pretty. I like this. It's kind of deep pink flowers. And you can accessorise it on your cake, on your bouquet. For bridesmaids. This is a lovely dress also. This has got lots of jewels put into the bodice of it and it's got a kind of pink bottom to it. And for the bridesmaids, there's these little bracelets that are nice. Look at this pretty little girl. She's in a kind of lame green dress. another funny cake that's got plates in it and 
Now the bottom of this is just absolutely beautiful. This is from Merchant City Glasgow and the, the top is beautiful white embroidery and it just comes down flowing down into a beautiful neck bottom. Beautiful. And again it's just a simple bouquet of flowers. That seems to be the fashion just now is just a simple bouquet. And that's a beautiful wedding ring with a diamond in it. Diamonds here. And this is beautiful as well. You can actually hire these just for your special day. Now this is a fun way to put your hair if you don't want a veil. It's just a nice hat and it's just got a nice bit of netting that comes over the face. You quite like the look of that as well. I take a note of that then. Page. That's in Glasgow. Beautiful rings there. Peros now. You can't go wrong with peros on your wedding day. Just timeless, aren't they? This beautiful chain, it's got silver and it's got diamonds and peros in it. Again, you can hire these for your special day. This is beautiful, beautiful heart diamond. Now this is fun as well. The off the shoulder, it's chains that come off the shoulder like that. And it's got kind of nude under skirt to it. And over it, it's white lace. And she's got a tiara. That's beautiful. There it is again, close up. This is beautiful. There off the shoulder look again. Bodice. And she's actually got a few necklaces on. If you feel as if you're brave enough to do that. Personally I think that's just a bit too much having three different chains on. Now this lady has just got netting in her hair, it's quite effective and she's got this dress on but she's got a royal blue ribbon going straight across her waist, that looks really nice and this lady's kind of got the same idea but she's got jewels coming across. Now this, you'd need to be really brave to wear this, but this is beautiful. And it's not a tiara, but it's a headband. And it's got jewels coming down the front. That's beautiful. And in this one, the lady's just got white roses in her hair. This lady's opted out of any headwear. But she has got beautiful earrings and a beautiful necklace to match. This lady's got a beautiful jewel encrusted headband. And it matches her waistband. If you can see, she's got the same on her waist. Now this, I'm not too sure about this, but some people like it and it's like a necklace and it's got feathers all down it and she's got the same round her wrist the feathers here's a selection of the jewellery that we hire out for the day and the th 
think these are beautiful wedding bands and you've got gold, white gold and rose gold. Now this is very pretty. This is one of my favourite dresses. And it's got roses all down the bottom of it. I think it's very, very pretty and very Scottish I may add. I just got her hair up and beautiful flowers around there and on the shoulder there's a single red rose. I think it's stunning. This one here is a shorter dress that reminds me of the 1960s and it's knee length. That's quite an unusual dress. I'll just flick through if there's anything that you see. Oh yes. This one, it's like a cha-cha skirt but it's, it's all the way down, that's different as well. This one here, I'd recommend that if you've got a small bust the opening that comes down that far and the back of it is just like one strap all the way down very very flattering but personally I'd be worried wearing that in case you fell out this is really unusual and it's black and white again you need to be really brave to walk down the aisle in that and this I'd say this was for the older braid wear something like this it's very classical and it's a gold and white weave around the jacket area do you like this is the back of that's beautiful and it's got chains coming all the way over and in the middle there's like a clip it comes down so I quite like the look of that I'll take my note of that, what page is that? page 83 that's the long okay. This is a lovely cake. It's a three tier and it's got like three colours to it. Roses and then pink in the middle with the bow and then white at the bottom. And this is a beautiful bouquet right here. This is like the, the olden days of cha-cha and all that kind of thing. Is it the 20s? That's it. Not sure. But that's a very old looking one. Now obviously we don't just do wedding dresses for thin ladies. We think that big ladies are just as beautiful and should look just as beautiful on their day, their, their big day. And you can see this lady's a plus size model, it's just stunning. Again, we like to make dresses for people of all shapes and sizes, colours. We think all women should look fabulous on their wedding day, no men for that matter. This is when it's, I think that's a bit too big, but it's what you prefer. 
this headdress is just a floral headdress. This is like the happy look, like this, and it's got a simple headband. This is a, this isn't white. It's kind of dark blue again, and it's very nice. Again with the big floral headbands. Choose what we prefer. Now these are some ideas for the mother of the bread. Mother of the bread will be look stunning in that. That's blue, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous as well. Of course it doesn't have to be mother of bride. That could be actually bridesmaids if you wanted. This is beautiful. This is silver. It's got silver satin neckline and silver layers. And this is all blue. Different shades of blue. And different shades of pink. Beautiful. Mum's the word. And some fantastic ideas there as well. You'd like to look at that again. That's page 124. And we can look at that again. I quite like the look of that. Okay. Beautiful kilts, all different kinds of tartan. This is a grey tartan one. This is quite a new one here. It's like a grey, but it's got a blue through it. And you can put your partner. Have a wee look at this if you want. This one I like. It's it's really like the olden days. It's got a beautiful shirt. It's got a lace tie. This is a walking stick that's got a stack on the end of it. That's really nice. This is quite a new tartan as well. Partner there, kilt. There's some beautiful tailored suits as well. That's funny. It's actually a statue in Glasgow. And what happened? The story behind the cone on the man's head. I think it's Wellington. On his head was at night people that were coming out of pubs and were a bit tipsy. There's always traffic cones going about Glasgow. 
and they decided that it would be fun to put a traffic cone on this man's head and the police kept taking it down and more and more people would put it up and take pictures of it and it just became a thing and now if you go into Glasgow and you see the statue you'll have a traffic cone on his head This is just some venues for maybe stag do's or that. Now this reminds me of Heathcliff and the moors and the beautiful bride and groom and the flowing dress. Very romantic. Oh, look at that pretty little girl. And she's got her thumb up. That's winter, can't you? No leaves on the trees. And this lady's bridesmaids are in lavender. This lady's bridesmaids are in red. Done your invitation. I'll well, take a note of that page then. This is to personalise the drink that's on the table. And there you see that one's got a Scottish thistle on it and it's got the bride and groom's name.
There's some bands for your finger that you can wear your finger night time and touching fingers. Now who doesn't want to get married in a castle? Look at that, how beautiful is that? Here are some from the best wedding venues in Scotland. The National Trust. I don't agree with that. I don't like that. That's beautiful. Lavender. Do you like the look of that venue? I'm dead again. 
चुके हैं hotel as well okay. Okay. send you a brochure out for that as well okay. well I hope that was helpful to you and I've took a note of the things that you quite fancy and I will send you leaflets on the price etc and I'll also send you a catalogue of kilts and suits that you can show your partner and see if he fancies any of them but thank you for coming in and I'll see you again later before you be a big day bye